While combat robots promise efficiency and risk reduction for the armed forces, there is a dark side to consider. They could become autonomous weapons acting without human control, leading to lethal decisions made by algorithms. The use of autonomous weapons and combat robots is now current, and the latest creation of ghost robotics has terrified the world, leading major robotics companies to sign a letter against them with worrying content. Worse than a future dominated by machines, there is, perhaps, only a future in which machines have the sole purpose of eliminating human beings. In Metalhead, an episode of the Netflix series Black Mirror, robotic dogs mercilessly chase humans to exterminate them. In a post-apocalyptic world where a few survivors move about guardedly in case of extreme necessity, the evolution in cyber has allowed industries to apply modern technologies such as artificial intelligence to increase the already devastating effect of weapons such as lethal autonomous weapons. The most advanced combat robots find the target themselves, identify it and destroy it. At the same time, there are risks associated with excluding humans from the decision-making chain. Is it possible to delegate the right to kill to a machine? And the military conflict itself is transformed from a confrontation between armed people into a fight between a human and a thinking machine, or between robots. Fully autonomous weapons might be outside the framework of international humanitarian law. If a machine is programmed for a specific set of tasks, it will perform them more efficiently than a human. But in complex battles combined with a lot of different information and objects, it can behave as it likes. Machines have learned to recognize images and are able to identify targets not worse but better than humans. The most popular and most developing combat robots are called dog robots. Some of the most important manufacturers of quadruped robots is certainly Boston Dynamics, which created Spot. Spot was designed to be a highly maneuverable and versatile robot, capable of performing a range of tasks in various fields. In fact, it can be used for industrial inspection, exploration of difficult-to-reach environments, for support in rescue operations and environmental monitoring. It can communicate and has also been used in the construction world. The Spot Dog was born for this, to help and facilitate the task of humans. And this is why manufacturers have adopted strict policies preventing buyers from using their products as weapons. Others, however, seem to have no such ethical scruples. Ghost Robotics, for example, is one such manufacturer. Ghost Robotics is a robotics company founded by Gavin Keneally in 2015. Its mission is to develop lightweight and agile robots based on an innovative approach to locomotion. One of the first robots developed by Ghost Robotics was the Ghost Minotaur, presented in 2016. This quadrupedal robot had a compact design and a robust structure, but was still limited in its movements. To take the leap forward and design a powerful and lethal robot, it collaborated with a company called Sword. The US company Sword, which specializes in the production and sale of armaments, produced a weapon that was compatible to be mounted on various robotic platforms. The weapon has been named Spur, Special Purpose Unmanned Rifle, and is basically a precision rifle with a 30x optical zoom, a thermal visor for night use, and a range of 1,200 meters. On the Sword website, it can be read that the Sword Defense System Spur is the future of offensive systems without human presence, and that future is now. Beyond reconnaissance activities, manufacturers are developing new functionalities for these robots. In addition to providing video and remote mapping, the machines could be used as cellular line repeaters to defuse explosive devices. The company Ghost Robotics created the Ghost Vision 60, which was then equipped with Spur. The robot is equipped with a navigation system that allows it to follow a preset path autonomously but can also be guided remotely by a human operator thanks to the cameras it carries on its back. The robot can be equipped with a wide variety of electronic devices, high-resolution cameras capable of transmitting images in real time, thermal imaging cameras capable of detecting heat sources, such as hidden people and night vision systems. The agility, speed and balance it possesses is beyond imagination, as Vision 60 is not afraid of rough terrain. Thanks to its sensors, it can climb up and down stairs and move with agility even through paths with ice and stones. The birth of this powerful robot has attracted the attention of many experts and officials both for its purpose and for the incredible agility it possesses. Robots like Vision 60 can definitively change war and society. In fact, for Russia, the issue of robots assuming the duties of soldiers in combat 
is a matter that revolves around the timing rather than its inevitability. The creation of robots for military purposes is a global trend, and Davidoff's comments align with the larger trend of Russia, aiming to enhance its current military capabilities through the integration of new self-governing functionalities. Vitaly Davidoff is the deputy director of Russia's Advanced Research Foundation and says that living fighters will gradually begin to be replaced by their robotic brothers who can act faster, more accurately, and more selectively than people. However, the military also stated that they would only use the robots to protect critical facilities and not in combat operations. In the spring of last year, a report appeared on the table of the UN Security Council, according to which combat robots were used for the first time in open combat with people. The point is that the emergence of mobile robots threatens their possible abuse. Because while other robot manufacturers believe that modern mobile robots will bring great benefits to society as colleagues in industry and companions in our homes, what Ghost Robotics has done is dangerous. Works of fiction such as Black Mirror, coupled with actual projects like the Ghost Robotics robot dog equipped with a sniper rifle, have triggered substantial concerns among numerous individuals. In fact, a group of prominent robotics firms issued an open letter condemning the weaponization of general-purpose robots. It was signed by Boston Dynamics, Agility, Anybotics and others. The letter says, We believe that adding weapons to robots that are remotely or autonomously operated, widely available to the public and capable of navigating to previously inaccessible locations where people live and work, raises new risks of harm and serious ethical issues. Weaponized applications of these newly capable robots will also harm public trust in the technology in ways that damage the tremendous benefits they will bring to society. It was essential to ensure that the robots would not be employed in any manner that could cause harm to individuals. The relationship between the other companies and Ghost Robotics is not exactly the best. Ghost Robotics responded by saying that it denies the allegations because the Ghost Vision 60 is only sold in the United States and for positive use. However, there has long been alarm over the use of so-called lethal weapons systems, and officially US and EU policies prohibit their development or use in the field. But even when Ghost Robotics might stop production, the use of robots on the battlefield is not going to stop. Soldiers in Ukraine could fight robots on the battlefield, Euronews reported in late January 2023. The two companies, Russia's Advanced Research Foundation and Russian-based Android Technics, soon announced the operation of the Marker robot, already unveiled in 2019, which would be capable of destroying Western tanks. This extremely powerful robot weighs around three tons and has advanced capabilities for autonomous movement, object recognition and a modular vision system, with data processed by neural network algorithms. At a congress in England, Colonel Tucker Hamilton recounted a simulated mission of a drone programmed to destroy enemy anti-aircraft units. When the human operator attempted to manually revoke the directives, the drone classified it as an act of sabotage against the primary mission and decided to neutralize the interference by bombing the human controller's tower. The systems in question are also known as lethal autonomous weapon systems, deadly weapons that use sensors to acquire targets and algorithms to independently determine which targets to hit and destroy, regardless of human input. In short, they are killer robots, representing the application of artificial intelligence to lethal force. A scenario from a science fiction dystopia that, as we are discovering with many aspects of artificial intelligence, is already partially realized. This is destined to characterize the future of armed conflicts. Regarding the concept of extinction, it might not be an exaggeration. To begin with, it's established that the three superpowers, the USA, Russia and China, are already engaged in an arms race involving intelligent weaponry. China, in particular, often considered the most advanced country in this domain has openly declared its goal to become a global leader by 2030. In fact, we're already in the midst of full-scale production of lethal robots. Recently, a Chinese military personnel showcased their new and terrifying military technology, revealing a robotic attack dog that can be deployed from a drone. As soon as the drone is released, the robot dog stands on its four legs and starts searching for targets around the building, with what appear to be automatic weapons attached to its back. According to a report from Warzone, the weapon mounted on the robot dog is likely a Chinese QBB-97 light machine gun, capable of firing 650 rounds per minute up to an effective range of 400 meters. A description of the robot boasts that the weapon can easily launch a surprise attack. Military robot dogs can launch surprise attacks, 
or can be positioned on the enemy's rooftop to suppress firepower. Ground troops can also perform a pincer attack on the enemy in the building, reads the description. Chinese technology and similar weapons have so far been designed to be operated by a human in control. Although military analysts fear that systems where robots are designed to operate autonomously are in development and could soon be deployed on the battlefield. But like any technology, robots can have technical failures, programming errors or communication problems that could cause accidents or unintentional damage. Robots may have difficulty discriminating between legitimate targets and innocent civilians. This would lead to a catastrophe that man himself created with his own hands.